And once again, we're pleased to have actress-singer Grace Garland with us as our guest host to talk with veteran stage, film, and television actor, Ozzie Davis. Welcome, Grace and Ozzie. Thank you, Bill. He began his career in New York City with a group called the Rose McClendon Players, and he made his Broadway debut in Jeb. Ossie Davis has appeared in such plays as Raisin in the Sun, Green Pastures, Anna Lucasta. Ossie also wrote and starred in Pearly Victorious. His television credits include an Emmy nomination for King and accolades for Martin Luther King, The Dream and The Drum. And with his wife, Ruby Dee, they've co-hosted numerous specials. And his list of credits go on and on. Currently, however, Ossie Davis, actor, writer, director, has taken on a new role in the ABC mystery movie series, B.L. Stryker. And he plays Oz, the sidekick of Burt Reynolds. Let's go to a clip from B.L. Stryker. I told you. Sorry. He told you. Next time, why don't you let us know before you fight a guest? Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You all right? Sorry, Oz. I didn't know you were coming this morning. Bill. Yeah. Man, you ought to have been there last night. You know, I'm getting information on the names on the list you give me, huh? And two guys jumped me in the alleyway. Huh? Oh, man, you should have seen me. Come on. Uh, one big guy, you know, two big guys. Since you're also a writer and director, will you be writing and directing any episodes of B.L. Stryker, do you think? I have been asked by Bert to consider doing some of that. I, I don't know. The uh, writing for television is different from the kind of writing that I do. For it's stage. different from stage writing. It's also different from uh, 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 film writing. No. Uh, I might consider the possibility of directing mm -hmm. a film. But uh, as they say, directing is a young man's game. And though I am still young, uh, I ain't that young. And I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I want all that hassle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's too much. Oh, because too of much. the schedule being so tight? Uh, yeah, also, you see, we have about 17 shooting days mm -hmm. to do a two-hour film. That means that everything has to be organized, choreographed, stitched, put into place. Mm -hmm. And there's somebody always there to tell you, hey, you're a minute and a half behind. Behind. <laughs> but you think you ought to move a little faster. <laughs> I think I just want to stay and be Bert's friend. And just and be the actor. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you have a romantic in interest on B.L. Stryker. Mm -hmm. And I know that Ruby D has had romantic interests like Sidney Poitier and Harry Belafonte. Mm -hmm. I want to know, have you ever been jealous of the romantic interest that she's had? All of them. Really? Oh, of course. I mean, have you gone home and had little spats? Yeah, no, no. That's one, one doesn't spat with Ruby. That's, no. that's not smart politics or whatever. And we've been married 40 years. I learned early oh, on. congratulations. Don't be spatting with no. Ruby. <laughs> Ruby grew up in Harlem and learned how to protect herself, her marriage, and that sort of thing. I grew up in Waycross, Georgia, and my reflexes are quite slow and southern. See, by the time I get myself together, Ruby's already hit me on the chin. So we learned to compromise early on. And, you know, Sidney and, and, and Harry and playing with Nat King Cole and, 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 and Jackie Robinson. Uh -huh. Ruby's been the wife of some of the most famous men in the world, including my own. Of course. I learned to accept her with a grain of salt. And also, I was in the business, too, and some of the people I played with, they didn't look so bad. So. Oh, I know. Was she ever jealous? Uh, well, if she was, she never told me. Uh, <laughs> but she made it quite plain, you know, that so far and no further. And, you know, okay. cool it, Papa. This is where, <laughs> <laughs> this is where the play stops in real life begins. What's next for you? Uh, what's next for us? We are in the process, even as we speak. Ruby has written a thing based on the works of Zora Neale Hurston, mm -hmm. which we're going to do for uh, American uh, Place. I mean, for the American Playhouse mm -hmm. on PBS. Mm -hmm. So that's next for the both of us. Oh, great! Well, thank you for being my guest, Ossie Davis. Good luck with the Bible on tape and with B.L. Stryker. I'll be looking forward to it, and everyone else. And Bill, back to you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Grace.